Are you constantly checking your blood sugar? Does every number feel like a judgment? You're trying to manage your health, but what if your focus on those numbers is actually holding you captive? What if there's a deeper truth? You feel trapped by your diagnosis. Every meal, every activity, it all revolves around a number. You've been told to control it, to monitor it, to live by it. This constant vigilance creates a cycle of anxiety, a cycle of fear. You pray for peace, you pray for healing, but the fear of the next reading still grips you. I know that feeling, the guilt I felt when a number was too high, the frustration when I did everything right and it still wasn't perfect. It felt like a battle I couldn't win. My doctor's face when he saw my A1C. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't where he wanted it. It wasn't where I wanted it. I was living by sight, by the numbers on my meter. This isn't just about blood sugar. It's about control. It's about surrendering. It's about learning to walk by faith, not by sight. I wish I'd known this before. For years, I was a slave to my glucose monitor. Every prick, every scan dictated my mood, my peace, my entire day. Then came a moment, a Holy Spirit moment. I was sitting there, frustrated after another high reading. I felt God whisper, Abraham left Ur. He didn't know where he was going. He just trusted me. That hit me hard. Hebrews 11.8 says, By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. I was called to leave my Ur. My Ur was the constant need to know, to control, to see every single number. God was asking me to trust Him, to walk by faith, not by sight, not by CGM numbers. This wasn't about ignoring my health. It was about shifting my focus. It was about understanding 2 Corinthians 5, 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. This applies to more than just our eternal destination. It applies to our daily lives, even to our blood sugar management. I realized I was treating God like a co-pilot. I was in the driver's seat, occasionally asking for directions. But he wanted to drive. He wanted me to trust his navigation. This was a radical shift. It meant letting go of the fear. The fear of what a number might mean. The fear of judgment. The fear of failure. It meant embracing a different kind of control. God's control. It meant understanding that my body is his temple and he cares for it more than I ever could. Consider the birds of the air, as Matthew 6.26 reminds us. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? If God cares for the birds, he certainly cares for my blood sugar. He cares for your blood sugar. He cares for your health. This was the turning point, the moment I decided to trust him fully. So what does it mean to walk by faith, not by CGM numbers? It doesn't mean abandoning all care. It means shifting your reliance. Here are three actionable steps I took, steps you can take today. First, pray before you eat. Not just a quick blessing, but a prayer of surrender. Ask God to guide your choices. Ask Him to nourish your body. Ask Him to bring peace to your metabolism. This simple act transforms your meal. It turns it into an act of worship. It reminds you that He is in control. Second, focus on the principles, not just the readings. God has given us wisdom. He's given us bodies that respond to good nutrition. Learn what truly honors your body. Understand how different foods affect you, not just from a number perspective, but from a feeling perspective. How do you feel after eating? Energized? Sluggish? This is God's feedback system. Third, limit your checks. This might sound controversial, but for me, it was essential. I went from checking constantly to checking strategically. I chose specific times. Times that gave me useful information, not times driven by anxiety. This reduced my fear dramatically. It allowed me to breathe. The peace I finally found when I stopped obsessing over every single number was profound. 
It was liberating. It was God's peace. You have the power to honor God with your choices. You have the power to surrender your fear. You are not alone in this journey. If you're struggling with the constant pressure of managing your blood sugar, remember Abraham. Remember his faith. God is calling you to trust him. If this message resonated with you, subscribe for more truths. Share this with someone who needs to hear it. And comment below with one fear you're ready to surrender to God today.